What are the biological causes of aggression? Brain functioning, hormones and genes are all linked to aggression. There are particular parts of the brain that are linked to aggression. The prefrontal cortex is involved in regulating emotions and behaviour. If a person's prefrontal cortex is damaged, they may not be able to regulate their anger and are more likely to show aggressive behaviour. There is evidence to show that brain structure is linked to aggression. Rain et al. used PET scans to compare the brain activity of murderers who had committed an impulsive act of murder and non-murderers, and they found that murderers had less activity in their prefrontal cortex. Phineas Gage was a railway worker whose brain was damaged in a railway accident. After the accident, he became much more aggressive. This suggests that certain parts of the brain are linked to aggression. The limbic system is another part of the brain that's linked to aggression. It includes the amygdala and the hypothalamus. The amygdala is believed to play an important role in aggression and the hypothalamus is involved in regulating our arousal levels. What evidence is there that the hypothalamus and amygdala are linked to aggression? Bard 1940 legioned the brains of cats and found that the hypothalamus and amygdala were responsible for aggression. Further evidence that the amygdala is linked to aggression comes from Swanji et al. 2012. They found that women with smaller amygdalas were more likely to have higher aggression scores. Another biological explanation for aggression is high levels of testosterone. Males have higher levels of testosterone than women and are often seen as more aggressive. Animals that have been injected with testosterone show increased aggression and animals that have their testes removed display decreased aggression. However, there is contradictory evidence for testosterone being involved in aggression. Bain et al. 1987 found no significant differences in testosterone levels in men convicted of violent versus non-violent crimes. Another biological explanation for aggression is a genetic one. Genes may predispose us to aggression. Although no single gene for aggression has been identified in humans, a number of genes acting together may predispose an individual to aggression. Tilhoen et al. 2015 studied Finnish prisoners and found that the MAOAL gene, in combination with the CDH13 gene, was associated with extremely violent behaviour. Rengen et al. 2005 found the concordance rate for physical aggression in monozygotic twins, or identical twins, was almost twice as high as in DZ twins, or non-identical twins. This suggests that genetic factors play an important role in aggression. Rian Waldman, 2002, conducted a meta-analysis of 51 twin and adoption studies and concluded that genes play an important role in aggressive behaviour. This study supports the idea that genetic factors cause aggression. A weakness of the genetic explanation of aggression is that it is reductionist because it ignores other factors that cause aggression. For example, aggressive models in the media may lead to aggression, and aggressive family members or peers may also affect aggression levels. Now answer this five-question multiple-choice quiz. Question 1. What part of the brain is not linked to aggression? Is it A, the prefrontal cortex, B, the hippocampus, C, the hypothalamus, or D, the amygdala? The answer is B. The hippocampus is not related to aggression, but memory. Question 2. What made Phineas Gage more aggressive? A. High levels of testosterone. B. The MAOAL gene. Or C. A metal rod through his head that damaged his brain. The answer is C. Phineas Gage's brain was damaged in a railway accident after a metal rod went through his head. He went from being a mild-mannered man to quite an aggressive man after his brain was damaged. Question 3. What hormone is linked to aggression? Is it A. Testosterone, B. Oestrogen, or C. Progesterone? The answer is C. The hormone testosterone is linked to aggression. Question 4. What research method is useful in showing that genes are linked to aggression? 
Is it A, field experiments, B, interviews, or C, twin studies? The answer is C. Twin studies are useful in showing that genes are linked to aggression. For example, Brenjin et al. 2005 found the concordance rate for physical aggression in MZ twins, identical twins, was almost twice as high as in DZ twins, non-identical twins. This suggests that genetic factors play an important role in physical aggression. Question 5. Why are biological explanations of aggression reductionist? A. They don't take into account how genes affect aggression. B. They don't take into account social and cognitive factors. Or C. They don't take into account how hormones affect aggression. The answer is B. Biological explanations of aggression reduce aggression to biological factors and don't take into account social and cognitive factors. For example, models in our environment can affect aggression through social learning. If you want to get more of my revision materials, you can buy my revision guides on Amazon.co.uk for both the Edexcel and AQA specifications. There are also resources on psychologydon.com.